Hi there, I'm Simon. I'm one of the tutors at UK Study Centre. And uh, I have a question for you, which is, is it possible to study English at the University of Cambridge if you have dyslexia? I thought that the answer was no, until in my third year studying English at Cambridge, I found out that one of my friends on the course had been diagnosed with dyslexia. And he started telling me about some of the, uh, the symptoms associated with it for him. And as he was going through them, I was thinking, oh, this sounds like me. So I went and got a diagnosis done myself and discovered that I had a learning difference too. I was dyspraxic. Yeah, so we used to call them learning difficulties, um, but really it's just not a very accurate name for it, as well as the fact that it's pretty disempowering. Um, Difference, a learning difference is much more accurate. As soon as I found out that I had a dyspraxic profile and I looked at the uh, things associated with dyspraxia, the difficulties, the challenges, my first emotion was just relief because finally I understood why so many things have been difficult for me over the years. And um, I know a lot of parents can be worried about uh, a diagnosis feeling like it's a sort of cage for a kid or, or, or a limit to them. My experience with my own um, dyspraxia and with the kids that I work with and my friends who have learning differences is that actually it's very, very freeing and releasing for many to um, have a word to describe some of the difficulties that they face and it's uh, as well can really help people feel less alone. Um, because really, it, it is exactly that. It's a learning difference. It's just a different way that the brain works around certain things. And a diagnosis is not the end. A diagnosis is the beginning of a journey. So over the past five, six years, I've worked more and more with learners with dyslexia, dyspraxia, ADD, ADHD. Um, and actually some of my best success stories with students for tutoring have been with those students. Actually, in my experience, um, people with profiles of uh, dyslexia, dyspraxia, ADD, ADHD can actually be some of the most creative, resilient and hardworking students because they have to find workarounds. Um, and they've become very resourceful, resourceful learners. And some of my biggest success stories as a tutor, um, working with students for formal exams like A-level, GCSE, uh, entrance exams like 13 plus, 11 plus, have actually been with students who have dyslexia, dyspraxia, ADD, ADHD. So it's so possible to achieve amazing things academically, if that's what you're motivated to do. So if you took one thing away from this video, it would be that learning differences are much more common than we think. If you took two things away, uh, it would be that learning differences are just that, they're a difference. Um, and if you took three things away, it would be that very often, the experience of finding out that you have a learning difference can be one of relief. And it's an unlocking and the start of the journey rather than the end.